there's a couple of ways you can create drums. There's a couple of drum patterns you need to know. And there's a couple of ideas I'm gonna present you. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. The way you create drums depends on the software you use and also on the workflow you get used to. One, drum racks and drum machines. You basically put samples here and using MIDI notes, you trigger them to play. Let's talk about pros and cons. Pros. Switching samples is quick and easy. Playing drums live on your MIDI device is possible. Writing drum patterns is also quick and easy. Cons. You need to click more times to change the volume or panning, for example. 2. Making drum loops on a timeline. You just drag samples onto your timeline, preferably to a different tracks so you can process them differently, and that way, by duplicating, you create drum patterns. Pros. Easier access to volume, panning, etc. settings. Less clicking if you need to delete a drum. Cons. Switching samples requires more clicks and is less intuitive. You can't play drums live on your MIDI device. Writing drum patterns take more time and effort. 3. Playing acoustic drums live. This allows you to create more natural drum loops, but also it limits you to the instruments you have. Let's take a look at drum patterns based on genre. This is my favorite picture that illustrates the different drum patterns in different genres. Also, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can analyze it by yourself. After analyzing this picture, you should be able to create your own drum loops. But here's a simple trick that you can use to create drum loops without even thinking of patterns. This method is great if you're a beginner or if you're just like me, lazy. This one is gonna be only working if you use drum racks. I analyze a bunch of genres and I put drum loop patterns into a MIDI clips. And this is completely free, you can download it from the link in the description and throw it onto your MIDI track. But if you're Ableton, there's another way you can create drum loops without any effort. You can take an existing drum loop and convert it to drums. And you just drag an audio file, a drum loop, onto the MIDI track and you choose drums. And this will try convert the drums to a MIDI. And most of the times it works perfectly. All you may need to do is sometimes just quantize after converting. Okay, here are even more tips on making drums. Okay, so let's say you want to create very, 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 very cool hi-hat loop. And you have just one hi-hat, because you're, let's say, low on a budget. But you want to make super cool hi-hat loop. So all you have to do to make it sound good is to take just one hi-hat and afterwards put the same hi-hat but quieter. So it may be quieter, like minus six, db or minus 10 db just experiment what sounds good and this way you will create this type of hi-hat that sounds very good it gives that kind of groove if you want to add a little bit more of the swing you can take the second hi-hat and move it a little bit to the right So the hi-hat rolls are very fast hi-hat loops. So while making them, experiment with velocity so the hi-hat roll fades in or fades out. Conclusion. I highly recommend to use drum racks instead of placing drums manually on a timeline. For me, it's really a time saver. And I know you may be like, dude, I always do it on my timeline and it works. I know, but just try. I think that the quicker you translate your ideas into the actual music, the better. The thoughts are disappearing really quickly unless you're constantly saving them on your phone. Also, more time means more music. 
So that's it for this video, remember to download a free drum patterns MIDI files from the link in the description. Also consider subscribing if you like these videos. Also you can check my other tutorials that are very 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 cool and low on a budget and stuff. Yeah, also um, see ya in the next one.